After defeating a giant mushroom monster called Krabilon, the terrifying Eater of Worlds, and besting the powerful hive mind, Magnus had numerous new ores available to collect. A meteorite had landed far to the east, Aerialite was now spread across the world, and Hellstone was now ready to be looted with the new powerful pickaxe made from pure demonite. It was time for Magnus to grab his pickaxe, a spelunker potion, roll up his sleeves, and start mining. Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Magnus the Mage Let's Play episode. We're doing a Calamity death mode playthrough using only magic weapons, and it has been super fun so far, and I'm really excited for the episode today. We're gonna to be doing all sorts of upgrades because we have defeated the hive mind, so there's Aerialite now. We can now go into the underworld and use our nightmare pickaxe to mine up lots of good hellstone. Between episodes, I upgraded our staffs by reforging them. Now they're both deadly, which is good enough, I think. Oh, I also did a bunch of stuff in the Corrupt Nether Realm. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We had some issues when we first started the playthrough because some NPCs were going through this portal. So I put these blocks to block them from walking into the portal area. So now they're dyed shadow, so they can't walk into the portal area. And then I also added a bunch of gem sparks to the entire island up top and around. And that creates just enough light so that we can see everything, but we don't see any light sources. I kind of want to look around and see what we can buy. So we've got some accessories we can purchase from this guy. Looks like he sells just random accessories. Pretty sweet. And I think he can sell combat ones too. Ooh, the shark tooth and the panic necklace. We still haven't actually fought the blood moon yet, so I don't want to buy the shark tooth and the panic necklace might actually be a good one to buy. I think she sells it too though. She actually sells it for half off, so I'm glad I am buying it from her. I really wanna get the stress pills and ladonum, so we're gonna do some farming of the slime and the Eye of Cthulhu. The other thing I wanna do is grab a bunch of bombs. We need some of those for sure. Let's see, who's this guy? Oh, nice, he sells star power. I'm gonna buy two of these actually, because we've been needing those quite a bit. In one of the previous episodes, I discussed kind of the storyline behind this. If you haven't seen the intro cinematic, definitely go to episode one and watch that. It explains how all these people, including Magnus, used to live at Anna the Archer's castle, but Supreme Calamitous basically opened up a portal while Anna was distracted and brought all these people in here. So the purpose for Magnus is to help save his friends. With the Band of Regeneration and the Band of Star Power, we're able to craft the Band of Mana Regeneration. And then if we combine those with the Shackles, we can craft the Magic Cuffs. And what that does is it increases max mana by 20 and restores mana when damaged. One of the things we're looking for is the Celestial Magnet, which I believe is sold from the Traveling Merchant. There's also a recipe in the Calamity Mod to craft it but we don't have the materials yet because that'll be hard mode. So it would be really cool if we could get our celestial cuffs, but we're just gonna have to be lucky with the traveling merchant for that to happen. So I'm going to the NPC to see what we can buy. And it looks like we can buy obsidian skin. It's pretty expensive, but if we put on our charm, oh, we could actually upgrade our charm too. I just remembered that. The upgrade requires evil components and corruption bars. There we go. It's dropped the price by 50 silver for each potion. So now we've got six obsidian skin potions and that should be enough. The way I came up with the storyline for this character and this playthrough was actually when I was building the base because I wanted to build a wizard tower for a mage playthrough. I thought that'd be really cool. And I was really inspired by a lot of the different building techniques from chaos. And so I was trying those out and doing some you know, planning and trying to think of a good way to make a really cool base. So I was just doing sketches and stuff and I wanted that NPC prison, but I wanted the character to be a good character and I didn't feel like he could be good and have all of his friends in prison. And so I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. 
what I ended up doing was figuring out, you know, how those people could be trapped and Magnus is trying to save them, but he's unable to until he gets enough lore and enough knowledge and all that sort of stuff. So that's kind of how I came up with that idea. And the rest was just trying to, you know, figure a way to connect it to the current playthrough. Ooh, and this is good. We can get some meteorite. I was wondering where the meteorite landed. Man, Bane Miner and meteorites is so nice. Sweet. So we have meteorite now. Which I think will come in real handy. Because I think there's some new recipes we can do with meteorites. Man, these... Ooh, I know what we can do. We can use our little spores. These will help us, I think. No! <laughs> <laughs> They're not helping. They're coming in so quickly. It's like I don't even have time to do anything. Oh man, that's a bummer. We have tons of ore just sitting there. That's ten, three, four right there. So I guess we gotta run back over there and pick all that up. Okay, let's throw some more sticky bombs. Okay, we're gonna need to pop another obsidian skin, do a heal, and let's see if we can get some of these meteorites that we missed before. Okay, I think we finally got through and finished off the meteorite biome, so that's good. Let's go ahead and craft some meteorite bars. And I'll leave a little bit of meteorite left over because I'm not sure if we're going to need it for anything. So we can craft a space gun. I think we might as well do that. We can craft a ham axe. That'll be good. We can also do meteor armor, but I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna be better than the jungle armor. I think I might just stick with what I got for now until we get air light. The space gun probably has a few upgrades. So we can do granite, obsidian, amber, and make an improved space gun. That's pretty cool, the magna cannon. And then we can also do space gun, laser rifle, upgrade to the duck hunt gun. So we've got the obsidian, we don't, I don't know if we have any granite. I know we've picked up a lot of granite, but I think we've tossed it all. So let's go grab some stuff in the underworld and hopefully we'll find some granite on the way down. Sweet, so we're now in the underworld. We've got obsidian skin. Let's make sure to apply that. Now that we have obsidian skin, let's start mining up some of this hellstone because that is going to allow us to craft so many cool upgrades. So it looks like we're still taking damage even though we've got obsidian skin, which is a bit confusing because I'm not used to that. Let's grab one of these hell forges. That'll be useful. So I guess we don't want to stay in lava too long. Hellstone is pretty tricky to get right now. <laughs> Ooh. We just gotta stay alive. Ooh, those things are like seeking me out. Oh no. <laughs> I guess our <laughs> obsidian skin ran out. Although we got a bunch of materials, so we should be good to craft a few things. We have 216 hellstone and 140 obsidian. We can break this furnace and put our hellforge down. And we don't need the furnace anymore. 
first let's make sure hellstone doesn't craft into anything directly so we do need a little bit of hellstone for an obsidian rose so let's try to keep some hellstone without crafting it all into bricks maybe let's keep like 21. so now we've got 65 hellstone bars and there's a ton of stuff we can craft with it the main things we're going to be trying to craft are the hellwing staff and the flare bolt those look pretty dang good. We can craft the Marked Magnum and the Atheticus. These are debuff items that don't have a class. Oh, we need Aerolite. I keep forgetting. <laughs> we have a completely new crafting ore, but we'll grab some Spelunkers and head on down. Yep, there we go. We got some Aerolite. Ooh, we got another heart crystal right here. Let's see how much area light we've got now. We've got 184. It's pretty good. Okay, we got some lava buckets there. And I guess we can just head down and let's see if we can find... Oh my gosh. This bat is so aggressive. Okay, so let's see if we can grab just a little bit more Hellstone. There's so much Hellstone below me right here. This is like the perfect thing. Okay, and maybe we can grab this last one right here. And we've got seven seconds left. Four seconds left. Sweet. Okay, we got it all. And let's do some crafting. To make aerolite into aerolite bars, we just need to use the furnace. So let's craft those real quick. So we can craft trade winds, which is a bookcase. It needs aerolite. We need sun plate and we need feathers. So I've got those over here. It looks like we can also craft a harpy ring. Might as well. We've got some silt, so we need to get some amber. So let's go ahead and see what we can collect. Sweet. Well, we got a ton of stuff from our silt. And there we go. We can upgrade our space gun with the Magna Cannon. And let's see what that does. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. All right, well, let's put that up here. I want to craft this Atheticus weapon. So let's put that over here. So marked magnum, we just need glowing mushrooms. There we go. Let's craft that as well. And then we need to craft the hellwing staff. And then we can come up here and craft two items. We can do the flare bolt and trade winds. The last thing I want to craft is the aerospect armor, but we need rain clouds for that. So let's see how many rain clouds we have, because I don't think we need many, but I don't think we have many. Uh, we have three rain clouds. That's not going to be enough. Okay, I think we've got enough. Maybe we'll mine this last little bit. And then we should have plenty of rain clouds. And let's craft some aerospec armor. There we go. Aerospec legs. Aerospec magic right there. And the chest plate. It says 8% increase in magic damage. 20 plus max mana. Set bonuses, 5% increased movement speed and critical strike chance for magic. And taking over 25 damage on hit will cause a spread of homing feathers to fall. So I want to try farming up some bosses really quick with our new weapons and our new armor set. I also want to try out these debuff items. So let's go ahead and try fighting Cthulhu a few times. We're also out of gold, so this will be helpful. 
So this is the Hellwing staff. It shoots down a big fire. Pretty sweet. And then this is our debuff. Turns him purple. I think this does the same thing. Yeah, I think it's the same debuff as the Mark Magnum. So I think this is the upgrade to the Mark Magnum. And then we've got our laser gun right here. It's pretty sweet. And then here's the trade winds. Ooh, I like this one. It's just like a bunch of projectiles. That's really sweet. And lastly is our flare bolt. Ooh, that's pretty powerful. Ooh, I like flare bolt. That's good. And then of course we still have this one, which <laughs> will probably kill Cthulhu the easiest. <laughs> Can't beat mushroom spores. <laughs> I just, I, it just cracks me up that the mushroom weapon is that powerful. Let's try fighting some slime kings. Yeah, I'm getting tired of it. Just gonna use my powerful fungus staff. Take him out real quick. Yeah, so he moves a lot for this flare bolt to be, you know, very effective. Cause it's it's a more of an accuracy thing. With the slime, if we stay pretty close to the slime, we can do a debuff and then just do tons of damage. I'm curious how well this rod would do against the King Slime, though. I mean, that's doing a consistent 250. So Tradewind seems to run out of magic a little bit faster. And I should, you know, mention that the reason I'm doing this is to prepare for Skeletron. I'm just trying to make sure we've got, you know, a good idea of what our weapons do since we've got so many new ones. We finished off five King Slimes and five Eye of Cthulhu's and a Goblin Army. So let's go see how much gold we've acquired and we can probably re-roll some items a little bit. I was hoping for some Stress Pills or the Ladonum item, but we didn't get any of that. So that's a bit unfortunate. But what we do have is one Platinum and 65 gold. So that's pretty awesome. We can finally retire our Mana Rose. I don't think we can get an upgrade for that until we get to hard mode. Well, it has certainly been a very eventful episode. We've basically upgraded all of our items. We've got new armor set and a whole bunch of new magic weapons. So next episode, we've got a ton of cool bosses that we can fight. We can start by fighting the Queen Bee and Skeletron. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next episodes. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.